Hey everybody. So in order to be able to use SPSS in this class, we're going to need to go through the student labs portal. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go to my desktop here and I should appear in the bottom corner. Now. So first thing I'm going to do is open up my browser and I need to go to student labs .uottawa.ca. Now, you can see that if I click on studentlabs.uottawa.ca, it should take me to a page that says VMware Horizon. You can connect to your desktop and applications by using the VMware Horizon client or through the browser. The Horizon client offers better performance and features, so I would suggest that you just download and install the VMware Horizon client. It's going to make it a lot faster for you using especially an intensive program like SPSS. So we want to download it by clicking on this side here, Install VMware Horizon Client. I'm going to click on that. And so what it does is it shows us our different clients that we need. So either for Windows, go to Downloads, or for Mac. All right, so I'm going to click on the one for Windows. If you're on a Mac or on Linux, click one of the different links. So I'm going to click on Windows and go to Downloads. Okay, um, I'm going to click on Download now. And we can see that it's going to download into my Downloads folder or wherever else I you save it. Mine saves automatically to my desktop. Once it's finished, I'll get back to you. All right, it's finished downloading, so I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to find that VMware Horizon client, and I'm going to install it. I just had to approve it. Now it's going to ask me if I agree and to the privacy agreement, I'm going to agree and install. So it's going to install this, and it's successfully installed. Click Finish, and uh, it asks you to restart. So you'll restart. I'm just going to click on Restart later. Now, once you've got this installed and you double click on it, you just get a blank screen with Add Server. So what we're going to need to do is go to the University of Ottawa's page to, to find out how to configure this. So I'm going to just search Student Labs U Ottawa. That's the second one here. Student Labs U Ottawa, and we see we get a page for it.uottawa.ca students remote labs. You want to go there, Remote Labs Portable Portal Information Technology. Now, there's a few steps that you have to do. First one is before you begin, you need to self-enroll for multi-factor authentication. Okay, so you click on this link and that will enroll you. You need to go through the steps to do that. The second thing is steps to connect here. So I've used the Windows VMware Horizon client. You might be on Mac. You could access via a web browser, but I would suggest you don't do that. So I'm going to click on this drop down. It tells me what to do. So start by enrolling in multi factor authentication. Done. Download the latest version of the Horizon Client. Done. Installed. Done. Okay. Run the installed VMware Horizon Client from the start, start menu. Great. Now here's the step that I need to figure out. Click on the new server button to add the portal connection server. Enter the name of the students, studentlabs.uottawa.ca. So I'm just going to highlight that and I'm going to copy it, go back to my thing here, click on add server, oh, new server, paste that in there. Now if I hit connect, it asks me for a username and passcode. Okay, so my username is my email address. And my passcode is a passcode. I click login. It goes to authenticating. Now, here's the deal. I've gotten a request on my phone. That's the multi-factor authentication. It's going to ask me to approve my sign-in. 
which I'm just going to go in, click on this. I just have to approve my sign in, approve. Now that I've clicked approve on my phone, you see that now I get this these options. So here we have Biblio, Biblio, obviously the library, and some HSS lab computers. Okay, so SPSS is both on the health sciences lab computers and the library computers. So you can connect to either one if you want. So I would suggest either this one or this one. I'm just going to click on the library one because it shows me, in fact, that there's SPSS on that. So I'm just going to double click on that and it's going to load my desktop. So it starts loading what's known as a virtual desktop. It asked me if uh, I want to share my removable storage and local files. And this will allow you to use a USB stick, I believe, if you do that. So permit access to your removable storage and local files. I'm going to say allow. What we see here is that now I've got a second Windows desktop here that it's loading up. You have to just give it a moment. It's loading up little icons in the bottom corner here. It's going to tell me something about please waiting for your environment to set up. Fine. We can see that's loading the apps on and getting it all ready. Now, the important thing to remember about this is that each time you sign off of this, your files are going to disappear. So make sure you save anything you need to either Dropbox or email them to yourself or save them to a USB key. Now, what you see is great. We've got access to IBM SPSS Statistics 26. And in fact, we've got RStudio, but we could use RStudio on this environment if we want, um, but we would rather install it on our computer if we can. If you don't have access to a computer that can install R or RStudio, you're going to be able to use it at least on this computer as well. Note here that it has said that save your files. Rebooting or shutting down the station will erase your files. This is really important. So you can, uh, Avoid losing your work by saving to a USB flash drive, syncing to a file sharing service like Dropbox or Google Drive, or emailing your files to yourself. Okay, I'm going to close this down, and that's pretty much all you need to know. I'm going to uh, disconnect. Yep, done. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea of how you're going to be able to be using um, the VMware remote desktop to be able to use SPSS for this class.